are times where you need to treat a customer like a customer. You need to understand and analyze a customer as a customer. You need to understand the life cycle of a customer. You need to understand the present and future values of customers. There certainly are times where you want to treat customers as customers. What I would like to suggest to you is that you begin by treating them as your audience. That the best way to get a customer is to first to treat him as an audience member. And that treating the marketplace by treating these prospective customers as your audience can have transformative power. An audience is eager to invest itself in the story that the storyteller wants to tell the audience, especially when you're telling them a story that has unique significance to them. You could tell an audience a story about your company or product or creative project that is so important to the story that is true of that audience and important to that audience that they will invest themselves, that they will work almost as hard as you will to be in relationship with you to help that story become true. So that's why you want to start your story there with the audience. It is a dance. You will have a great idea. You will understand that there is a market out there for your great idea. My recommendation to you is as you look at that market, you find that portion of the market that you can declare as your first audience where what you intend to do, what you would like to do, is so vitally important to their completion of their story, to the fulfillment of their aspirations and their dreams, that the promise that you will make to them through your story will be a story, as I say, that they will uh, work very, very hard with you to make true. The example that I gave in my Duke class, where there's always a couple of kids who are interested in going to the University of Michigan Law School, as I say to them, hey, if I were to declare right now that I've got a story about how to get into the University of Michigan Law School, and I start telling you that story in the classroom and begin to walk out the door as I'm telling you that story, there will be individuals who will follow me out the door, who will be so interested in that story that they will follow me out the door to hear the rest of that story. Now, it's important when you are identifying an audience for your story and telling that audience the story that they want to hear, it's important that you, in fact, make sure you've got the right audience and that you understand the difference between needs and desires. <laughs>